Do you know why networking is a lot like being at a party where you don't know anyone? Because you have to work up the courage to introduce yourself, only to realize you've been talking to the coat rack all night. And there you have it, the art of networking. It can be awkward and it can be challenging. It's like wandering around a party, trying to find someone who doesn't look as lost as you feel. Maybe you've even tried to strike up a conversation with a potted plant once or twice. But just like a party, once you break the ice, it can lead to some pretty amazing connections. Networking is crucial in business. It's how you meet new clients, find mentors, and open doors to opportunities. It's not about who has the flashiest business card or the loudest voice. It's about making genuine connections with people, sharing ideas, and helping each other grow. So remember, networking isn't about selling yourself. It's about finding the right coat rack to hang your ideas on. Ever had a conversation where you felt like you were talking to a brick wall? Yeah, well, that's because bricks are notoriously bad at body language. Now, let's take a stroll down memory lane. Picture this. There I was, at a swanky networking event. You know the type, the ones where everyone's looking to make connections that could skyrocket their business to new heights. I was eager, armed with my polished elevator pitch, ready to make my mark. Across the room, I spotted a gentleman, looking rather intrigued. He was nodding, eyebrows raised, eyes wide open. I thought, aha, an interested party. So, I made my way towards him, rehearsing my pitch in my head. As I got closer, his eyes lit up even more. This is it, I thought. He's the one. I started with a firm handshake, introduced myself, and dove straight into my pitch. He continued to nod, his eyes still wide. I was on fire, my pitch was landing, and I was certain that this was the start of a fruitful business relationship. But then, just as I was about to seal the deal, he gently sidestepped me and reached out to the snack table behind me. He wasn't interested in my business at all. He was just trying to get to the mini quiches. It was a hilarious yet cringe-worthy moment, but it taught me a valuable lesson. Body language is a tricky beast. It's not just about reading the signs, but understanding the context as well. Nodding doesn't always mean agreement. Sometimes it might just mean someone's eyeing the last piece of quiche behind you. So if you want to avoid such faux pas and truly master the art of networking, it's important to hone your body language reading skills. Look for confirmation. If someone's nodding, but their arms are crossed, and they're leaning away, they might not be as interested as you think. So remember, Good body language is like a good joke. If you have to explain it, you've probably done it wrong. Talking is easy, right? But have you ever tried talking to a millionaire about business? It's like trying to explain the plot of a sci-fi movie to your grandma. Now don't get me wrong. This doesn't mean millionaires are clueless about business. Far from it. It's simply that they operate on a different wavelength. You see, they've been to the business rodeo more times than you've probably eaten sushi. So how do you get your point across without sounding like you're reciting a Shakespearean soliloquy? Well, for starters, you've got to keep it simple. No one has time for the business equivalent of a Tolstoy novel. Next, confidence is key. You're not asking for a handout, you're proposing a mutually beneficial business relationship. So puff out your chest, turn on that million dollar smile and speak like you mean it. Then, clarity is your best friend. Beating around the bush is for rom-coms and mystery novels. In the world of business, being direct and clear is the way to go. Lastly, and this is a biggie, listen. Yes, you heard me right. Listening is an integral part of conversation. It's not just about what you say, but also about how well you listen and respond to what's being said. So when talking business with a millionaire, remember, keep it simple, be confident and whatever you do, don't mention aliens. Now that you're a networking ninja, it's time to put these skills to the test. Go out there, make your mark, and remember, the world is your oyster. Or at least, your networking event is. But hey, if you happen to stumble, don't worry, we've all been there. That's what coat racks are for. So go forth, network like a pro, and remember, if all else fails, there's always the coat rack. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more hilarious and informative videos.